Hi everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools Music Production Lessons here at Educator.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about another Pro Tools plugin here, another virtual instrument called Vacuum. This is the fourth instrument we're going to get covered here. It will be covered here and Vacuum has great bass sounds, arpeggiators, effects, leads and some more. It is a virtual analog monophonic synthesizer. On the left, you will see VTO1 right here. And right here is VTO2. Basically where we can make certain uh, changes with the vacuums tube oscillator, it's as we call it. These are the sound generators right here on the left. VTO1 and 2. This is what we have over there. And then we have right here our mixer. And certain things, I have an automation thing here again, certain effects that we can apply here, such as cut off and reso, an envelope. There's a cool little thing here, as if this was an old synthesizer and it's those things when you use on 20 years, they get like some dust in them and that actually start affecting those analog synthesizers uh, sound with the years and you can actually adjust the dust, which is something really cool. Uh, our volume is here. You have adjustments for envelope, uh, envelope one and two. You can even adjust the tube drive right here. Down here, it's a quite complicated uh, instrument actually, but we're going to just go over the basics. We're going to mainly be talking about the uh, presets here under lead space arpeggios percussive. Uh, this isn't like stru structure free. This is just like expand boom and the others that you can actually get your presets right, right there. And uh, you can turn on and off an arpeggiator on any sound and you can adjust the rate of the arpeggiator and mode you can use the pitch and modulation uh, of course you can assign all these knobs with your MIDI controller if you're using a MIDI controller that usually happens with right clicking on it you have to choose MIDI uh, learn MIDI and you need to move a knob on your MIDI device and you can there's a way to actually assign those um, at this point all my uh, training here really based on uh, the mouse moves you know I'm uh, using the Pro Tools as it is and uh, considering that you have a either very basic MIDI controller or sometimes some of the example really based on not even have a, a MIDI controller those are the lessons we keyed in notes and we did a bunch of writing and editing directly with the edit tools in different edit modes those kind of things or those automation examples that I give on a couple of lessons uh, on some of the virtual plugins we also use the knobs but just by just like uh, going up and down by our mouse so that's basically the the way that we try to cover everything here but uh, if you buy an instrument or there are really cool other MIDI controllers out there today definitely feel free to assign those it's always easier to do that with the with the knob the MIDI controller we got here doesn't have knobs so it's a very basic one so we stay on the software <laughs> 